Hey guys, it's JR and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about my big chop. So it's been a year since I cut off my hair. December 29th, 2018 was the day I decided to cut my hair off and pretty much start all over. I've been wanting to do it for a while, so I said, hey, why not? So I cut it off a little bit at first and I really thought I was doing something until I realized my hair still had perm on it and it literally could not style for shit. So... I had to literally cut it off and I was like, what the heck did I do? Finally, I decided to like, let me try a little bit of something. And I don't know what the heck I thought I was doing here because these hairstyles look crazy. I, and I really thought I was doing it. Look at how I'm looking at the camera. So after trying a lot of products, I figured out what works for me. And when I say a lot of products, I mean a lot of products. So this is my first first wash and go this is pretty much my was my go-to when i finally figured out how to style my hair and this pretty much puts something that i could only do i couldn't do anything else but wash and goes until my hair started to grow and i was able to start doing finger coils and i loved my finger coils when i tell you this was like my go-to hairstyle i perfected the mess out of those curls do you hear me so after so many protective hairstyles, braids, goddess locks, these are done by Lauren Styles on Instagram. Definitely check her out. A pregnancy, more braids, and more goddess locks by Lauren Styles. And an attempt on doing some perm rods. Man, when I tell you, I watched this YouTube video on how to do these perm rods and it was an epic fail. But one thing they don't tell you is the stress that it goes into doing perm rods. The perm rods will pop on you. I mean, pop on you. So I literally had to go out and buy so many different perm rods, so many different packs of perm rods. Just to be on the safe side for ones, the ones that I do pop. I actually tried it again. And this time I tested the product on my head the day before I tried it out. And it was a big success. This is actually the day of my maternity photo shoot. So I made sure I tried it out a week before just to make sure it's going to come out good. So I'm glad I failed that time so I know what to do this time. And this is actually my photo shoot finished product. So we always got to let them know that black girl magic does exist. And shrinkage is real. Believe us. Let me tell you. <laughs> so after so many deep conditions and deep condition is a must and so many hair trims and hair trimming is a must i was finally able to graduate to a braid out and i kind of like the braid out but it kind of makes your hair a little crinkly less not as curly but crinkly so it was okay i probably won't do it again this is the day i literally deep conditioned my hair for 24 hours and Look at me now. I can do my first twist out. When I tell you I love twist outs, they're fast, easy, and look at how it makes your hair look. So I would say this is my favorite go-to hairstyle now. Um, I really am happy that I decided to cut my hair off. Um, I feel more in love with my hair than I have ever been. So if you're thinking about cutting your hair off, just do it. It's just hair, right? But also remember, be patient, practice, find the right product for you, and don't forget the deep condition. This is JR once again. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe to watch my hair journey, my mom journey, and my designer journey. Thank you for watching.